Hey Anon, I hope you're enjoying your daily surf. My name is Leon, and today I'm going to go over where to find all of the skill books that increase your alchemy skill in the Morrowind base game. So, I know that there is an additional book that was added in the Blood Moon expansion pack, but I haven't touched Blood Moon yet, so we're just going uh, to go over the six skill books that are in the Morrowind base game. So a list of all of the skill books that we are looking for is as follows. A Game at Dinner, The Cake and the Diamond, Ancient Tales of the Dwemer Part 5, Song of the Alchemists, 36 Lessons of Vivek, Sermon 2, and 36 Lessons of Vivek, Sermon 18. So we will just go down through this in the order that I have just stated. And the first book that we're going to look for is A Game at Dinner. So you can find A Game at Dinner in the Vivek Mages Guild. So just make your way over to whatever Mages Guild transport you can find. My base is in Run, so I'm very close to one. And then just go to the Vivek Mages Guild. Welcome, Dunmer. Let's set aside our differences. So I believe the... A game at dinner is in like well, Trebonius's room or his assistant's room. And yeah, it's right here on the table. I believe I've already read it by an anonymous spy. Very funny if you've done the Mage's Guild quests. But yeah, so this is a game at dinner. It will increase your alchemy skill by one point. All right, on to the next book. The Cake and the Diamond. So you can find this book in Vivek as well. It is at the Telvani Apothecary. So we are just going to exit the Mages Guild and find one of the gondoliers. Gondolier? Oh, it's night and there's an ordinator staring at me. So... Yeah, basically, we are just going to head over to the Telvani Canton and look for the Telvani oh, Apothecary. These clothes. I actually don't know if I have read this book. So, yeah, so you can get to the Telvani Canton by using the gondolier at the foreign quarter. So that should be relatively simple to no matter where you're coming from either inside or outside of Vivek and Looks like the apothecary is going to be in this little shop section and downstairs. So it should be in here Ooh, somewhere. Yeah, this looks promising. So the cake and the diamond is right next to the apothecary shopkeeper's bed. And it will increase your alchemy skill. So yeah, that's great. Up to 99 for free. Incredible. Okay, so the next book is going to be a more difficult one to acquire. So we're looking for Ancient Tales of the Dwemer Part 5, Song of the Alchemists. And I guess with a title like that, you can expect it to be uh, relatively rare and thereby uh, difficult know? to procure. So according to my notes the what i think potentially the easiest and the um non-quest related location of this book would be in a place a little dungeon called sani which is west of all daydroth which i believe is up right so this is um this is the Ahimusa place. So, okay, so we are going to take a boat to Dagenfell so that we can get west of all Daedroth. And I have a feeling it's going to be in these islands here. 
um, but I'm not 100% sure. Honestly, there are so many caves and dungeons and uh, tombs and uh, Daedric shrines that sometimes it is a little difficult to keep tabs on all of them. And honestly, I don't think I have ever even found this book before. I mean, I, I most likely I have because one of the other locations of it is related to a Mage's Guild quest. And usually I do do all of the Mage's Guild quests. So again, yeah, we are just going to take a boat to um, the Shailgarad region and look west of all Daedroth. So when taking the boats, I'm just kind of head you. north Welcome, with all of them. I see that Drew over there. I'm not going to be intimidated by him. Then go up to Narmak. And then we will go up Impressive. again These clothes to suit. Cool. Impressive. These clothes suit you well. <sighs> Thank you. And then we will go to Dagenfell. Alright, it is always raining up here. I don't know if that is like a um, like weather feature of the Shiogarad region, but I swear it feels like it is constantly raining over here. So again, I am just going to get in a nice line um, fully west of Altidroth so that I can just figure out exactly where this uh, Sunny is. I mean, I would just look up the location, but I think it is better to get a sense of the suffering that is involved in uh, finding a um, a new dungeon in this game. Because there's really something special about um, looking for something that you have never looked for before in a world in which you are unfamiliar. And honestly, I am familiar with a lot of this map, but I am not nearly as familiar with the Shiograd region as I am with the rest of the map. And I don't know why that is. It's not like it's like... Because it's like... You know, honestly, I think it's really just because there's really no towns up here. Dag Dagenfell is barely a town, um, if you can even call it that. So, yeah, I have a feeling it is... Oh, wow. Okay, this is really exciting. And also, we have accidentally found Mike the Liar, which is great. This is incredible. It's one of the only fishing poles. There are so few fishing poles in the game. Rare item. I'm not going to steal from him. But um, here we are. Okay, so Mike the Liar is a character who talks to you about a bunch of the features and, um, like, promised um, parts of Morrowind that never actually ended up in Morrowind. So this is a big win. I did not think that we would just run into him, but um, you can talk to him about a multitude of things. Becoming a lich. Dragons. Horses. <laughs> Mounts. Moving corpses. Multiplayer. <laughs> Mystery of the dwarves. Rope climbing. Shrine of Boethia. Oh, okay. Interesting. Well, I did find... I did find that shrine already. Soul's time. Soul's theme. Talking mud crab merchant and wear sharks. Okay, cool. So great. Anyway, in that vein, we are still going to try and head um, southwest to find Sonny. That was a big win. Right. The water shaders for open Morrowind look really good. They're not even that demanding of my, um, I think I heard a Drew 
of um, my uh, old graphics card here. But yeah, okay, so we are just going to sit up straight over here directly. And now we will simply head west. Maybe the rain will let up soon? It does sound like there's mad drews like underwater. Um, okay, so I would consider this west. Let's take a look. On this little protrusion here. Yeah, look at that. Okay. So this is probably it. And this is basically if you go to Alt Daedroth and head exactly west, you will find this place. Yeah, so this is Sani. So on the map, it is on this larger island that is west but a little south of Alt Daedroth. So, yeah, basically, um, as far as I know, there are a couple um, angry mages in here or something, but I think they're all relatively low level. I really don't want to kill them. I would like to just find the book and get out, but um, basically be prepared to take on a few... Um, hostiles in here yeah I don't think this is gonna yeah we're so there's not much that we can do about that but we can restore the fatigue and um, put some health on as well in case we need to do a little attacking make sure everything is fully repaired and then head on into the cave in search of Ancient Tales of the Dwemer, part five. Oh, well, there's a rat. Let's dispose of that. This will head up. This is just kind of a nice place. Oh yeah, usually I feel like there's libraries up in these larger rooms here. Yeah. Oh, they're mad. Okay. Anyway, so, um, we'll just take that off of his hands. And in here, I am sure... Oh, look, also you'll find a some uh, master's alchemy equipment. Some corpus weepings. Oh, Daedra's heart. I will take that. Drew wax, it looks like. Definitely take that. The skin. Couple Daedra skins. That's nice. Um, some Cyrodelic brandy. Yeah, full master's set. Um, oh, plenty of empty vials. So maybe they were, like, making skooma or something in here. Um, lots and lots of alchemy equipment, actually. This is pretty nice. Probably cut this part out. Um, and just look straight for the book. But we will find the book eventually. It's not in the closet. This is not it. There's a good skooma pipe, a ring, grief, vampires of Vardenfell. That is a useful item. Song of the Alchemists. Here it is. Alright, so on the shelving in the upper room, I really only had to take on a rat and uh, one hostile person mage, and this is the book. I'm going to take this book because it's rare, and it's pretty difficult to find. There's only three locations, so I, normally I just leave the books, but I'm going to take this one. And it looks like a nice little um, sort of like poem. Great, and yeah, as... Um, stated previously there's actually quite a bit of useful things here like if you are um, trying to become not a vampire you will need both volumes of the vampires of Vardenfell books there are plenty of um, liquors there is a bottle of skooma which you know pretty nice oh even a fortify some bug musk that's pretty useful I'll take that I don't need any of the liquors or anything. But yeah, so that wasn't too bad. Um, great. And then we'll move on to a couple of the easier 
um, books again. That again, that was the most difficult one. Where would you like to go? All right, and as for the 36 lessons of Vivek Serban 2, we are going to head over to the High Fane to take a look at that. So I am pretty sure that um, if you don't have access to the High Fane, um, you will be able to buy this book from a seller in the Molag Mar Temple. But let's just take a look and see where it is over there. Oops, I just screwed up and should have selected temple. Maybe we are close enough to intervene. Perfect. So the high fane is up here. And yeah, I'm pretty sure you do have access to this right away. And we are just going to look for... I hope it's not in here. Ah, I see. It might yes, be in I'll here. What do you want? There are so many of these. All right, so Sermon 2 yes, is what behind this door, which you can open whenever. This is not a locked door. So if you go into the right side of the high fane and run in, you'll see Mr. Uh, Aristelos. And then right down here at the bottom is the 36 Lessons of Vivek Sermon 2. I probably read it. Yep. But this one will um, increase your alchemy skill by one. And then finally, we are going to head over to the Ghost Gate Tower of Dawn to take a look at the 36 Lessons of Vivek Sermon 18. So what I am going to do here is I am going to take a gondola over to the Foreign Quarter. Not Persuade. And then I am going to take Mage's Guild Transport because it is cheaper over to um, Ald Run. I think that is the easiest way to get to um, Ghost Gate. It's a relatively far walk, but it could be much worse. Especially if your acrobatics level is high, or if you have some fortify speed potions, or Welcome, um, some other way of around. like getting around easily. Like if you have a levitate that's over um, 10 points, I know it's really expensive to do that. But if you mix a potion or something. Because yeah, we basically have to get down over here, and I'm pretty sure that is it. Maybe Caldera is closer, but... I think it is probably more of a, it's not a straight line, but it's more of a straight shot from um, Aldrun to the I Ghost Gate. Say, so yeah, we're going to head right Please, go ahead. basically straight line this way. And yeah, luckily we are able to sort of jump our way to wherever we need to go. Hopefully we can outrun a bunch of these cliff racers. But yeah, just leave Aldrun and start heading uh, southeast. Continually checking your map if you're anything like me, just to make sure that you're on the right path. Eventually, you're going to take a little bit of a turn. I think we're going to go up these hills over here. So now we're heading kind of like northeast, but not for long. It's, uh, there's the ghost gate right there. So because, um, I've completed the main quest, the gates are actually, um, open. But we're just going to head along the line of it. It's okay if the gates are still closed um, during your playthrough. The books are still there. And I'm just going to throw a Restore Fatigue potion on quick because that um, is really starting to get to me. So yeah, just follow, follow the side of it. 
until you get to the uh, ghost gate sort of like um, fort. It's not as much, it's kind of like a fort. It's kind of like the other forts that are in the game, like the Buck Moth Legion Fort and the Frost, um, Frost Moth Fort, but it's really more of a little like a, like a station. So we need to go to Dawn. We're gonna go to the Tower of Dawn. So that's the right one. Head into the right door there. And now we're going to look for wherever there might be a collection of books. Um, in the lower level, there are some. Let's take a look. Um, there's a lot of good books. There's the Wolf Queen is in here. May I help you? It looks like I've kind of already trounced around in here quite a May bit. May I help you? So yeah, I'll speed up this section because this has been unlocked. I don't, I don't know how bad that is. Um, this just looks Go like on, supplies and an ordinator. There has to be something like a citizen. Yes, I'm I hate that what one. Do you want? Um, ooh, the rare guard. That's another rare. There's a lot of nice rare books on all of these um, adventures today. But I think maybe it's not in this lower level part. It must be um, along this way somewhere. I don't know Ghost Gate very well, honestly. Um, because I'm really only here at the end of the game. But this looks promising. There's a lot of books in here. And a lot of the green ones. And those are the... Um, all of the uh, the lessons of Vivek are this like style of book, this green one. So there's 21. We don't need that. We're looking for 18. So there's 18. So yep, yeah, this is the final book that will increase your alchemy skill. So if you followed through this little walkthrough, you should have gotten a free five alchemy skill levels from it. So I hope that helps you out. And uh, let me know if there is a specific little like skill book tour guide guide that you would be interested in. I'm thinking the next one that I'm going to do is security because I personally would like to level up my security stat on my uh, main player character here. So yeah, let me know if anything interests you more than that and I'll see you soon.